guys, how's it going? Tis back again with another episode of the Tottenham Career Mode. We're into episode 9 and we start off this one with a home game against Hull City. Now you would have thought that this game would have been pretty straightforward and considering we are currently sat third in the league, as you can see, just three points off the top with a game in hand, you would have, like we say, it would have thought that this would have been a simple, easy, brush aside three point game without any hassle whatsoever. That is completely not the way this game went. Fortunately, we were able to take the lead there through Soldado in the 31st minute. There's a nice little uh, near post shot underneath the goalkeeper. But believe me, in the rain, this team does not seem to be playing very well at all. And I was really, really struggling against Hull in this particular game. They've got a lot of decent players, especially with the pace of Sone Aluko, Aluko and uh, the strength of uh, Danny Graham and Sagbo up top. And it was one of the most difficult games I've had to play so far especially considering we've just come off the back of that draw against Kuban Krasnodar so I wasn't particularly playing the best of football at the time of uh, of recording anyway so uh, it was definitely a game that we were under pressure to win and uh, the fans were pretty much demanding that uh, I got a three points from this one Paulinho came close there running onto that shot that was cut back inside unfortunately they were able to get a block onto it but it was it was a one-way barrage don't get me wrong Hull City didn't really stand a chance in this game but we weren't being as clinical as we perhaps could have done and Christian Eriksen there maybe should have shown a little bit more composure and taken it further on towards goal before taking that shot but they were going to make us pay Robert Corrin is going to break down the right hand side shoves off two defenders stands the ball up and unfortunately Carl Walker is absolutely horrible in the air and uh, Sagbo actually beats him up to the ball pops the ball into the back of the net and they bring it back to level terms just five minutes from time now I was fuming at this I went absolutely nuts as you can see this is immediately after kickoff Carl Walker is involved in the build up plays a lovely through ball between two defenders splits the defence with a pass plays through Aaron Lennon whips the ball in Roberto Sardado is there with the header for an absolute instrument and look at the technique on that header absolutely wonderful to get it back across the goal away from the diving goalkeeper pop the ball into the back of the net and give us all three points which we so desperately needed and that uh, we push on into the next game where we're going to need to uh, to have a decent performance again again unfortunately it's in the rain but it is at home against Sheffield United in the League Cup and we're going to need uh, a cut progression from here as well because the uh, the board want us to get to the final at the very least and we went in at half time at 0-0 again I was underperforming in the rain it's something that's really becoming a bit of an issue for me currently this year on FIFA 14 whether it's online or offline I'm struggling in the rain and Lamella there went quite close you can see he did get the rotation of the ball from right to left but it wasn't quite enough and the angle wasn't quite right for it to be able to arrow into that top right hand corner and unfortunately we weren't able to go 1-0 up and we push on into stoppage time at the end of the first half Jermaine Defoe's battling away with the defender plays the ball back to Chadley there's no runners nothing whatsoever he decides to take the shot on gets caught as he does so right on the edge of the box that is so close to being a penalty it's because of course you have to remember on the line is technically inside the box but it's not it's just outside the line we've got Gilfie Sigurdsson in the team he's going to take the free kick he strikes the bar with the free kick the defence try and clear it they can't clear their lines it's back in it's Defoe on the edge of the box outside of the foot into the top corner we've won the game I could not tell you how big a sigh I really I let out when uh, when that went in I was so relieved I let out a cheer and a massive sigh as well just no backlift whatsoever either he just stands there whips it with the outside of his right foot arrows into the top corner and we do fortunately take the progression through to the next round of the league cup which is incidentally the quarter final we are through to the last Eight, I think it is quarterfinal, isn't it? Last eight. And we're coming up against either Burnley, who beat Liverpool 4-3 on penalties, Norwich, Chelsea, Southampton, Man United beat Arsenal 3-1, which is a big result. Wigan beat Stoke 1-0, and Crewe, interestingly, beat Newcastle 2-1. So we could get any of those teams in the next round. So we're definitely looking forward to that. But again, we've got games back to back to back in this episode. We're coming up a way out of it, and obviously they've included Goodison Park in uh, FIFA 14 this year, which is absolutely spectacular. It's a wonderful ground, and the atmosphere is actually really, really electric. I'm completely 100% enjoying playing at uh, Goodison Park. I've got a friend who uses it for his uh, home ground on our ultimate team as well and obviously with getting coins for playing friends online etc 
Uh, we've been playing a lot of games at uh, Goodison Park and uh, we've been really, really enjoying it. It's just something different and it freshens up the FIFA experience. But we got off to a great start there through Christian Eriksen. Fantastic finish across the goalkeeper into the top corner inside 10 minutes. And now uh, we were on the attack again just a few minutes later. Dembele picks up on loose possession, unfortunately, with his weak foot rifles out past the far post. But as you can see, we're going to have another chance here. We're so on top away at Everton. In the dry, we're playing much better football. Saudade gets the turn on the defender. And again, it's just inches wide of that far post. And he's so disappointed, hands on head. And uh, we're pushing five minutes before first half stoppage time now. And as you can see, it's Everton on the attack this time. Their first chance of the half. Stephen Pinar threads a superb ball through to Nikita Jelovic. Just slides in to get there ahead of the goalkeeper. Trickles underneath him and just falls over the line to uh, to cross the line. For them to bring it back 2-1-1 just before we go into uh, into the break at half-time. But David Alaba is tearing up Tony Hibbert down this left-hand side. Whips the ball in. The, the uh, clearance is initially headed out. Soldado with the overhead kick as he gets headed back in by Paulinho. That is superb. Absolutely world-class. You cannot rate that goal highly enough the technique on that overhead kick is absolutely sublime Roberto Saldari has been such a good signing for us this season really have been impressed with everything that he's done if he had a little bit more pace I'd definitely get hold of him on ultimate team as my main striker as well unfortunately he doesn't but what a, what a skill move there from Kevin Morales in the second half he completely does me with that flip flap and uh, Stephen Pina again it's Carl Walker being Poor at the back post, rising with a header. Stephen Pinar's not the tallest, but he's risen up, beating him to the ball in the air at the back post. And again, we've conceded with uh, with a cross. You can see Kevin Morales completely does me all ends up. And uh, Pinar with a great header, to be fair. Lloris was never getting near it. But the second half was all about Everton. They just flew at me the same way that we flew at them in the first half. Another header this time from Kevin Morales. A diving header that was well saved by Hugo Lloris at his near post. But they take the lead in the 90th minute. A former Wigan player, Alvaro Alcaraz, powers in that header from the corner in second half stoppage time. And this time it's Paulinho. Just doesn't do very well in the air underneath the ball. And could Aaron Lennon have done better on the post? You tell me. I'm not too sure. It's just kind of turned as the ball's gone past him. I was quite disappointed at the time, but you'll have to let me know down in the comments whether you think he actually could have got to that, or whether he would have been put off by the dive from Lloris. But nonetheless, we do unfortunately lose that game after our complete dominance in the first half. We, uh, we couldn't make it count, we couldn't score enough goals, take enough chances, and unfortunately we lose that game, despite having a lot of uh, lot of chances, as you can see from the stats. Everton had more possession because of that dominant spell in the second half. So uh, that leaves us third in the league table, as you can see, we're just one point behind Manchester City, although Arsenal are level on points with us at present, but do have that game in hand, although should it be against Chelsea or Newcastle, who do appear to be in good form, then uh, they may stand a chance of slipping up in that game, so hopefully they do so, and uh, we can still remain in touch of that top spot but that is going to bring this episode to a close guys so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that'd be absolutely superb there will be links in the description and on screen in the annotation over the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and of course feel free to check the video the uh, the annotation over the little play sign which will be a link to the previous video in this series if you missed it so again thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time